Hey guys, I want to share something with you on the forum here. This is the main forum page. Uh, is it? No. Okay, actually it was in general. Okay, so if you go to kjvforum.com, here's the main page. If you go to Bible study, then there will be study by book. And then... I'm working on the book of Revelation, and I have each chapter for an expository study. Okay, there might also be other threads in the future on different books and stuff for different themes or whatever, but there will also just be a chapter verse by verse expository. <laughs> and last night I put together on chapter 4. I'm going through that book of Revelation, the four different views, and I'm going through the idealist view right now, and I'm just I'm adding uh, whatever uh, seems right for the commentary on there. So I can go through this really quick, but I'm going to keep adding to these chapters. I'm probably going to go through each of the views, and if there's anything that seems good from the other views, I'll add it too. And I'll add references, and so I'll keep going over this and over it, and I might keep making videos over it and over it as well until I get to the point to where I feel like I've said enough on it. <clears throat> but Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 says, After this I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee <clears throat> things which must be hereafter. You know, at the beginning it says, after this I looked, and so after this signifies the beginning of the next vision. Okay, it's not, um, you know, time like after he gets done talking about the churches and stuff, not like this is what happens after that on earth or something. This is what happens in the next vision. Okay, so we're starting a new section, um, and everybody pretty much can break up. Revelation into like three different sections. You know, you got the beginning with the, the churches, the first three chapters, and then you got the judgments and everything, and then you got, um, you know, the reigning for a thousand years and the new creation and everything. So, uh, the new heaven and the new earth. <clears throat> but also, the entire church age is being viewed once again. Okay, um, but from our, the entire church age is being viewed once again from chapters 1 through 3, but this time from a heavenly viewpoint instead of an earthly. And so it's, so it's like John's like stepping into heaven and his vision and stepping into eternity, and it's, it's like now we're going to see a view from like, the, from like the top down in a way. You know, I've seen a lot of people say, use come up hither to teach the rapture and stuff, and they're like, oh, I can't wait until this Lord says come up hither or whatever. That doesn't have anything to do with the rapture, which isn't taught in scripture at all. And even when I did teach the rapture, I was against that. But still, people constantly say this, and they're just making using the text for whatever they want. Anyways, Revelation chapter 4 verse 2, And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Okay, when he says I was in the Spirit, this means that he was receiving a spiritual vision. And the throne represents God's sovereignty. Okay, he reigns, he's supreme over everything. Uh, Revelation chapter 4 verse 3, and he, that sat on the, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper, and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow around the throne, and the sight like unto an emerald. Okay. And so, the jasper is like a clear stone, the sardine is like a red stone, the emerald is like a green. And uh, so these are symbols that represent God's purity, his wrath, and his mercy. And his mercy is also in the, the, in the rainbow. Okay. And I read that green is like a, a big color in the rainbow. So that's really interesting. That these all have like colors and they would represent different attributes of God. Very symbolic. That's the way the revelation is. Very symbolic. So 
I think that I would agree with that. Um, you know. <clears throat> There's so many symbols here. Anyways, Revelation chapter 4 verse 4, the round about the th and round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh man. <laughs> okay. I just woke up, kind of have allergies in the morning sometimes. So they're clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. The 24 elders represent all of the redeemed. Okay, and they said that it could be possible that it's combining like 12 patriarchs and the 12 apostles. So it's like the redeemed from, you know, before Christ, the Old Testament, uh, and, and after. Um, so... The fact that they're wearing right, ra white raiment represents purity, and their crowns represent victory. Revelation chapter 4 verse 5. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Lightnings, thunderings, and voices represent the fearsome power of God but also his sovereignty over nature. Um, the seven lamps, which are the seven spirits, that represents the Holy Spirit. Now the next section, like Revelation 4 through, or 6, chapter 4, verses 6 through 9, talks about the beasts, these creatures in heaven. And before the throne was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when these beasts give glory to give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever. <clears throat> um, the four living creatures have the descriptions of the cherubim and Ezekiel 1 and the seraphim in Isaiah uh, 6, I think. I must have forgot to put that. Combined into one image. They may be angelic beings or they may be symbolic of the creation which praises God, performing the function that creation is meant to fulfill. All things were created to praise God for his holiness and glorify him for his work of creation. And I think that's a really interesting interpretation that these can be just symbolic of re creation because, you know, they, the, the beast like a lion, like a calf, a face as a man, an eagle... So, that seems like a pretty good explanation, but Revelation chapter 4, verse 10 and 11, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. The redeemed praise and glorify God, his worthiness for being praised is connected to his having created all things. So that's interesting, too, that they mention how he created all things again. And then we see, you know, things that represent creation up here. You know, different animals, uh, you know, that fly and, and land animals and, and humans. So... Lots more could be said about these verses and go into even more detail, but that's just that for now. And I'm going to continue to go through the rest of the chapters with the idealist viewpoint. Um, so I know Revelation needs to be understood. It's really misunderstood a lot. And uh, so I'm just going to keep chipping away at this on here and I'll make more and more videos and 
better ones, but you can come here and, and see the progress. I'll probably record it each time I make one or something. I'll, I'll probably go over it. I may, I may not, but, or you can just come and look at it. And you can also, you know, post replies and stuff on here. It's a forum, so you can share your viewpoint or whatever. So that's it. God bless.